Alright, so... We're back for more Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. So we're gonna be continuing the story mode today. Uh, looks like all the Castle Oblivion members are gone, but we're getting closer with Shion. Also, big change that has happened, I'm no longer using my GameCube controller, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller now, which works much better with my computer and allows me to actually use the control stick to move around much more freely, like on diagonals and such. This is great. It's also very similar to the DS uh, button layout, so it should probably be a pretty traditional experience. <laughs> but new. Hey, Ziggy. Well, good morning, sunshine. During your beauty nap, we found out the whole CO team is toast. Yeah, that's not good. Hey, Demix. It's such a pain to hunt down every last treasure chest, don't you think? I don't know how I'm gonna get out of... Hey, totally! Roxas, go get all the chests in Mystery Mission 14, man. I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Ooh, you got all the chests! I always try to get all the chests. Just between us guys, I hear some chests contain rare stuff. You should grab them, you know, if you care. Here you go, buddy, as promised. We get a Shining Shard. That's not very good. Can we buy more stuff from the Moogle shop? I heard you collapsed, Koopo! Gotta pace yourself, Koopo! Who am I else? Who else am I gonna swindle- uh, Talk to, Koopo! <laughs> You're not swindling me. Bro, you sell good stuff. The Brawl Ring combo jump? Okay, we're getting the Soldier Ring, which gives us combo boost. That's gonna be really good. I don't know what combo jump does. I guess I'll buy it anyways. Fire gets gradually more expensive the more you buy. Alright, that's good to know. Restores fi Oh, that's interesting. So, high, high Potion restores 50% of your HP. Mega Potion restores only 40% of your HP, but it does it to all of your par you and your party members. Um, no thanks. Restores two casts of your magic. That's nice. Ooh! We could make some limit recharges. Nah. I'm saving my stuff for when I can actually synthesize good veins. What's my panels like? Definitely want to take that extra level up. I kind of want aerial recovery as well, but... Okay, is there a way to see... Combo jump. Jump in the middle of a combo. Oh. Yeah, I'd rather have the soldier rain. Dish out increasingly higher damage as your combo continues. That's what I'm talking about. That sounds nice. Also, I'm going to equip an ability unit. What new ability does that give us? Thunder Finish jolt enemies sometimes with the finishing blow of your combo. So the ability unit will give you a different ability depending on what weapon you have equipped. So for the magic-based one, it gives me like a magic finisher. That's nice. I like that. Wild Gear sounds cool, but I still prefer the Magic one. Magic one just has way better stats all around, and Magic in this game is really good. Hey, dude. You're awake. Did you ever find out what happened at Castle Oblivion? We're looking into what befell them. Them? How many? You still don't know? What I know is that I don't owe you any explanations. Now get to work. What a butt. You'll be on your own for a while. Wherever our other members are, they're certainly not here to help. Okay, fine. We can go to Agrabah, Twilight Town, Agrabah. Agrabah. Okay. Collect organization emblems. Oh boy, I remember these missions. Herein, we will determine your fitness for future missions by conducting an assessment of your mobility. Collect the numerous organization emblems we have placed throughout Agrabah. Demonstrate that you know the terrain well enough to formulate your own route. Running after the first emblem you see will only cost you time. Also be on the lookout for fire plants. Yeah, collecting all the organization emblems are... These make for some annoying missions. So we're going to get it out of the way first. Tutorial. Organization emblems. Collect the organization emblems scattered across the map. The emblems have rings of light around them, which get smaller as time elapses and eventually vanish. If you want to completely fill the mission gauge, you must grab the emblems with their rings intact. Recharge the rings by grabbing other emblems or by defeating enemies. So here you actually don't really want to defeat enemies unless you want to restart these rings. Well, obviously I'm going to try to fill up the gauge if I can. 
But I also gotta get all the treasure chests. I get an ether. Oh. I don't have air slide or glide. Why did I think I did? I just don't know. Do 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 do. Oh boy, a potion. Much more efficient to go up this way, anyways. But come on, let's put that new controller to work. Yeah! And we get the Unity Badge. That'll allow us to play this mission in multiplayer mode, because that's a thing you can do. I mean, it's not a thing I can do, because I'm emulating this, but... I mean, no, I'm not. This is definitely the native DS hardware. Even though that's, like, impossible to capture. Okay. Yes, now it's a... M now we're trying to grab all the emblems. There we go! And if the rains ever go all the way down, then we can just defeat an enemy to boost it back up again. We're gonna leave the enemies alive for in case we need to defeat them to boost- get the rains back. <laughs> hey, Mobius! The cops are coming for me! What did I do? There's no way they saw me speeding. I was going way too fast. I like how this is supposed to be a test of your mobility, but they're also like, but if you defeat Heartless, then we'll accept that. There we go. Alright, this will be a little tricky. There we go. Alright, that's mission complete. But obviously we're going for the entire... We're going for the full 101%. We're doing the extra credit as well as the main assignment. Whee! Yes! So, I think Roxas is slightly better at jumping than Sora was in Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh, that would have been bad. If I had grabbed that medal, I wouldn't have gotten the maximum mission... or the maximum, uh, boost. I'll grab the treasure chest later. go. Oh, that's not good. There's a metal all the way to... Oh, uh, that's actually quite bad. If there are no more enemies up there, then that's gonna really suck! Because then I'll literally be like one dot away from getting the maximum possible score. Oh, no! Please be more enemies up here. Oh, that's bad. I don't think there's any... I guess I could try to jump up there. Nope. Well, that's really annoying. I wonder if I kill if I kill enemies in the other room, will it also reset the stuff in this room? That would be nice. I'm gonna check to see. Oh boy, potions! How fantastic. Yeah, so my question is if I kill an enemy in this room, will it reset the rings in the other room? I hope so. Doesn't look like it. Ah. Part of me just wants to withdraw, but no, that's the loser's way out. We're just not getting the maximum bonus. That's so evil that they put a token down there. There's no way you could have seen that. Returning to the castle. 
But first, ice cream. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, there's nobody up here. It's okay, ice cream still tastes just as good if you're by yourself. It's not like, oh, you're alone, we're giving you a worse tasting ice cream. There we go, we got almost no experience points because we didn't really kill anything. Unity Badge lets you play this mission and tackle it with other players in mission mode. That way you can all grab emblems. Day 52, Solitude. New entry was added to Roxas' diary. Oh, we didn't read Roxas' diary last time, guys. Entry 5. The other members have been teaching me more about how to fight and stuff. It's going, I guess. Every day after work, I've been meeting Axel at the clock tower to have sea salt ice cream. It really is salty, but still sweet, too. How come it tastes so familiar? Day 22. Axel's going to some place called Castle Oblivion. He told me that we're friends. He had to go home early to get ready, and after he left, I noticed the word winner on my ice cream stick. I wonder what I want. I'll ask him when I see him tomorrow. Axel left before I woke up this morning. I never got to ask him about the ice cream stick. I was partnered up with number 14 for today's mission. Shion wore a hood the whole time and didn't say a word to me. Come to think of it, I didn't have a whole lot to say either. Afterwards, I went and had ice cream by myself. Alright, I teamed up with number 14 again today. We finally talked a little. Shion even said my name for the first time. Afterwards, we had ice cream by my I had ice cream by myself again. The lady at the shop said you can trade the winner stick for an extra bar, but I can't eat more than one. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you get fat. Today was my third day with Shion. I've gotten to know her a little more about her. That's right, she's a girl with black hair, and she can use the keyblade just like me. I took her out for ice cream afterwards, but I'm saving the winner stick. Axel deserves a reward when he gets back. Shion wants to have ice cream with us from now on. Maybe we'll be friends. I only remember part of this day. I heard somebody got sent to Castle Oblivion, and they were terminated. Sayak said it may have been Axel. I tried to ask Zigbar about it on the day's mission, but he said nothing's left of nobody's once we're gone, because we have no hearts to leave behind. I don't remember much after that. They say I collapsed and wouldn't wake up. There's no entry for 27 and 28. I must have missed a lot. It's like the longest. It's like I had the longest dream. I woke up to find a bunch of seashells by my pillow. I counted them. One for each day they said I was asleep. I was wondering who left them there, but then when I got to the clock tower, Shion gave me another one. I held it up to my ear and I could hear the ocean. Why did it sound so familiar? It sounds like the worst has come to pass. The whole Castle Oblivion team wiped from existence. It's hard to come to grips with the idea that Axel is gone. I feel choked up. I don't know what you'd call it. I've never had this kind of sensation. I went up to the clock tower to have ice cream, but nobody else showed up. Give, give me that extra level up. Alright. That's enough diary reading for one day. We've invaded uh, Roxas' privacy enough. The hardness throughout each world are growing in strength and number. Take this. It should serve you well. Free stuff from Syx? Level links. Some level panels don't actually raise your level. Instead, they generate a link zone. Link up normal level up panels to this zone and multiply the number of levels you gain. Oh yeah, the level doublers. I guess this is one reason why it can be nice to have to equip your levels. Hoi, Nintendo Addict! Welcome! Syx actually just gave us, I mean, a level doubler number five. That's pretty cool. Alright. Oh no, but now I can't equip... No, we're making this work. Level doubler is very important. Alright. We definitely want a Keyblade. That's a gotta have. <laughs> yep! Yeah, rearranging panels is fun. I can still get double cast... Or triple cast... Yes, I can get both. Triple cast can go there, and double cast can go there. I can't equip block now, but that's okay. We don't really need to know how to block. Plus, we can equip it later. We get combo boost, and hey, we can equip aerial recovery now. No potions, but that's okay. We find plenty of potions in treasure chests. There we go. Oh, you missed it. I, I almost 100%ed the uh, Gather the Tokens in Agrabah mission, but there was one hidden, and by the time I found it, I couldn't defeat any enemies. You will be conducting missions solo for the time being until we can restructure. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Alright, let's go eliminate the deserters in Agrabah. Rare Heart was called deserters if surfaced in Agrabah. I'll find them and eliminate them at once. Yeah, we did this in uh, Twilight Town. It's no big deal. Pursue and defeat the deserters. I'll give them their just desserts. Roxas, don't go back to the main street. <laughs> oh. Oh boy, a potion. I'm actually okay with that because I can't. I can't equip a potion because I'm. Well, I'm poor. I don't have enough panels. So this actually gives me some healing. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Is it possible to get to that treasure chest? It seems like it's out of reach. Yeah. No, I don't think. Maybe if you had the lift gear, you could get uh, you could get that chest, but I don't. Yeah, I think they're like, oh, make sure you get air slide or glide. Peekaboo! Wow, they avoided it. Oh no, this is actually one level where having block is really useful. Whoops. Wow! Whoop! Oh no! Jeez! Oh no, no block for this level is actually going to be really tough. Because you're supposed to block in order to stop them from just slamming into you. Well, oh well. Do 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 do. It's Rowdy Rumble. You're gonna die. Oh sweet, they still. Oh wait, it counts that I've already defeated all of them. Really. Goodbye. Oh, that was nice that it counted that I defeated them all. RTC authorized. Oh boy, and I didn't even have to use my potion. I mean, I died, but... Minor details. Alright, we, we gotta leave a little chest behind here. Return to the castle. There better, there's probably something really good in that chest. Your mission rewards doubled! Is that because I filled up the mission gauge? Too bad it didn't double last time. I could have used it. Day 53. Greetings, Koopo. I guess I'll buy the technical gear. And another blizzard. Unfortunately, we still can't equip block. Guess I'll take another blizzard. Blizzards are nice for Agrabah. Alright, we're plowing through the missions today. We'll eliminate the Tail Bunker. Tail Bunker is serviced in Twilight Town. Find it and eliminate it at once. Also be on the lookout for poison plants. Oh wait, poison plants are fire is useful against them. Whoops. Oh hi, minute bombs. Bonus. There's the unity badge. Let me know when we unlock the other badges, which are way better. Unity Badge has always been useless to me, because I've never been able to play multiplayer. Which is a shame, because the multiplayer actually kind of sounds fun. Being able to play as, like, two different organization members. Oh, hi! Oh, no, wait! No block for this is also going to really suck, because I can't redirect the plant's attacks. Oh, no. There's nothing worse than having low accuracy. That's what turn-based strategy games have taught me.
Oh yeah, look at that damage. There we go. That was a common enemy, that's not even the tail bunker. Not sure why I killed that one minute bomb and not the ever. Oh, oh, it's a bulky vendor. No! I wanted that. Why are bulky vendors always so annoying to deal with? Oh, that's that's what a tail bunker is. It's one of those wyvern things. Defeat the tail bunker. I'll try. But first, there's treasure in the area. Oh boy, a panacea. It's one of those items where it's like, it sounds good in theory, but I'm not spending an entire slot to take one. Wow! Alright! Tail bunker don't care. When they say tension rising, they aren't kidding. Welcome to proud mode, ladies and gentlemen. No block really sucks. Let's just limit break him to death. <laughs> Thankfully, limit break is still ridiculously broken. RTC is authorized. Okay, well, there's no more chests, so... Uh, but, uh. Well, Bulky... Does Bulky Vendor respawn? Of course not. Man, this, the dodge roll in this is not very good. I can't wait till I can equip block again. <laughs> That boss probably would have been a lot less dangerous if I could block his fireballs. Oh well. We did it. We had to die first, but... Your mission rewards doubled. Sweet. Thank you. One more day and we can equip block again. Because I don't have just single-handed block. I only have link block. Which is kind of weird, because... I don't have anything to link it to it. That's right, you can't dodge roll inside the... <laughs> Lord Zemnis has a very strict no dodging in the castle policy. Agrabah, eliminate the fire plants. Fire plants have surfaced in Agrabah. Find them and eliminate them at once. Blocking will serve you well against fire plants. Well, I can't equip block. Take as much blizzard magic into the field as you can. Also, be on the lookout for barrier masters who can surround your fair allies with an impenetrable barrier. Or I could move the level up link panels over to the right and shuffle up the... Oh, that is true. Wait. Yeah, I, I can. Oh, that's stupid how you can't move the entire thing over. No, not that. I want... How did... Yeah, that's right. Because when I first put this down, I didn't have the lower left panel unlocked. That's right. There we go. The Earth is saved! Thanks for pointing that out, Nintendo Addict. Oh, we do need Soldier Rain, though. Ah, uh, get out of here, Fire. Actually, just get out of here entirely, Fire. We're taking Blizzards. Because it's Eliminate the Fire Plants. Bada beam, bada boom. Roxas, Lord Zimnus also has a strict no blocking policy in here. Alright, eliminate the fire plants. And here we get cutscenes. Even though we're by ourselves, we still need cutscenes. 
Another sandstorm? Are you sure, Aladdin? Unfortunately, yes. All the merchants were talking about it. This is terrible. And that's only one of the things that's got me worried. Why? What else is wrong? The Heartless! They've been showing up all over Agrabah! Heartless? Yeah, they always appear right before a sandstorm hits. I thought it was just a coincidence during the last storm, but... Oh no, I hope this isn't a sign of things to come. If only Sora were here. Defeat seven fire plants. Just seven? I bet I could kill more than that. Ha ha! Oh, it's good to have you back, Block! Ooh, I got the loaded gear plus! Oh my gosh, I have 12 casts of Blizzard. This is great. This is another mission you can't 100%. The last few fire plants appear out of range. Well, that's nice. I'm still gonna try it. Bob the Builder says we can fix it, so... I believe him. Who, who moved the crate so I can't use it as a platform anymore? That was most rude. Just like that one boss from Fire Emblem 6. Very rude. Oh, hey. Take that Scarlet Tango. They introduced so many of those little elemental heartless in this game. The Sapphire Elegies, if memory serves, are really annoying. Or, what is it, the Emerald Sonatas or whatever? There's, there's a, one of those enemies where it's like the Emerald something and it is so annoying. Oh boy, fire plants! Oh no, book guy! Should have taken some fire. Because I think fire wrecks him. So he's gonna protect the fire plant. Oh, never mind. Blizzard wrecks him, too. I think magic in general just wrecks him. Oh my gosh, yes, he, he froze him. He takes double damage when he's frozen. Alright, buddy. Time for you to chill out. We get the Unity Badge. Because we all did it together. Hey, I was about to get the treasure chest. Hey, get back, Hurabu! I told you, you can't just take things from the marketplace! Uh, no excuses! We made a promise, no more stealing! Now come on, let's go give this back! He's a kleptomaniac, he can't help himself. But also, we should help him. <laughs> stealing is not tolerated. I'm not sure why it made me jump down from this platform when I was about to get the treasure chest. Wee, wee. Oh yeah, this is a much better controller. For the purposes of this. Mission complete! Where's that last treasure chest, then? It's probably high up somewhere. Oh, I bet it's high up near the palace gates. Yeah, I think the fire the fire plants might be over in this area. No, the last treasure chest isn't there. If 
fire plants probably spawn over here. There's still another chest. Where where is it? Chest doesn't appear to be here. Oh, I'll try the back the back exit here. Boing. Yeah, maybe it's through here. No? Where is that last treasure chest? Where's that bleep fourth chaos in? Oh, it's way up there. I think? No? Where the heck is it? There's a lever up. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's way up. Okay, yeah. I cannot. There is no way to get up there. I think you need to, like, super glide for that. Let's return. Okay, I will. Oh boy, I got two panaceas and two shining shards. Oh, the loaded gear. Oh, that's even... That's a better version of the one I have. And now we go all the way up to day 71. Reunion. And turnabout. Herp a derp -derp -derp -derp. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Sourpuss. Why the long face? Nothing, okay? You gotta admit, the castle's a lot quieter. Half as loud, you might say. You're still on about that? That happened months ago. But I could get used to a smaller, more tightly nipped group. How about you? Hey, hey Roxas, man! Did you hear? No survivors! Everybody at Castle Oblivion got KO'd! Heavy stuff. Why are you saying that, like, in a happy voice? Roxas was friends with Axel. Then they're really gone. <laughs> gone with the wind, right, Ziggy? Whew, I really dodged a bullet there. Now Mark seems dead for good. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> now you get to double your hours to help pick up the slack. <laughs> Blech! <laughs> Roger that. Remind me to underachieve twice as hard from now on. Who lets Demix into the organization? Challenges and ordeal badges. Now you can try your hand at challenges. Find ordeal badges to unlock these tricky missions. Challenges show up on the hollow missions menu once the missions you found them in are become available. Challenges feature special restrictions, and your performance will be judged on different factors. Perform well enough to earn challenge sigils, and you can trade them in at the shop for all kinds of freebies. That's cool. To go back to those, I might do that like after this playthrough, unless I get really desperate for some of the rewards. You pulling your weight, kiddo? Not that you weigh anything. What are you, around a buck five? Here, better take this in case you pass out. We get a high potion. Oh, thanks, buddy. You could have given it to me in a nicer way, though. Everybody's out in the field pulling double duty. Hard workers, I salute you. That's great, Demix. I hear they're letting you take on the challenges now, Koopo. Save up the set challenge sigils that you learn, and I'll reward you with freebies, Koopo. I'm nice like that, Koopo. Some of the challenges aren't so bad, and some are brutal, yes. You can now collect freebies at the shop, rack up challenge sigils and mission crowns to earn free stuff based on how many you've collected during challenges and mission mode. Nice. Spy all the fire. I will save up for the lift gear. Let's see. Oh, we can get a new slot releaser with five challenge sigils. And hey, oh, haste is actually good. Let's you run more quickly. Transforms your weapon into something awfully familiar, eh? Mmm, getting up to ten might actually be pretty nice. I doubt I will be able to do it right from what the stats I have now, but maybe, maybe in the future. Okay, now we're going to put some fire back into our spell lineup. 
Oh, wait, the loaded gear... Oh, never mind, it's not as good as the chrono gear. Never mind! Alright, Saix. Good morning. Finish your preparations and be on your way. I said good morning. Destroy the Shadow Globs! Shadow Globs have overrun Twilight Town! They have been deemed harmless at present. However, allowing them to propagate fervor could have dire and unpredictable consequences. Destroy them on sight. Shadow Globs have been known to form on well-hidden places. Uh, search carefully. Okay. These are the things that we faced in uh, Oogie Manor in the first game. Doom, 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 doom. Yep. Oh, look at that high res graphics. That's true, the mission motor or yeah, you may as well get the slot releasers. Find and destroy as many shadow globs as you can. Okay. Hey possessor, you ain't possessing me. Yeah, I only have two hit combos, but they're so powerful. Ah, yeah, in your face, Shadow Globs. Yeah, maybe I'll try out some of the challenges this stream, at least maybe one or two. If they're short and easy enough. Man, these are easy. Who keeps putting these chests down, by the way? Hopefully I bought, brought fire casts. Um, I brought a couple. I have six. Yeah, I imagine I will have to snipe some of them. That's okay. Stop possessing me! Man, short combos, but very nice combos. It's like limit form. Do 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 do. Oh hey, it's a watcher. Actually, my Keyblade, because it gives me some good aerial momentum with the first hit, I might be able to hit some of these that you're not normally not supposed to. Potion? Oh, Aether! Nice! Aethers can actually be quite useful. They let you take... They give you back one of each type of magic that you've brought. Yeah, who keeps putting these treasure chests in the levels, and who is making these shadow globs? Probably Ansem, even though he's gone. He's like, I just love darkness! Oh my gosh. The, the new controller I'm using is just so much better. I can move on diagonals now. Submit! <laughs> yes! Exactly. Submit! Okay, this is going to be one I think we're going to have to snipe, maybe? Possibly? Geronimo! Hmm. It wouldn't let me lock on, though. Oh, hey. I guess we'll go to that one later. So I also, it's also interesting how the Shadow Globs don't trigger the enemy music to make them even more well-hidden. Uh-oh, it's a Calm Guardian! Oh! Ooh, Aerial Tech! That's good. And not the Disney Princess, like an air-based tech.
I, I didn't really want you to run off a cliff, Roxas, but okay, here we are. I'm mainly doing that for experience and heart points. I need to be careful not to cast the fire from too far away, otherwise I could end up in a scenario where it does, the draw distance doesn't let me hit it. Stop shooting me! You should just let me kill you. That's the Jedi way, you know. Whoa, 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 that's not what I wanted. This one I think I can just reach normally. Okay, I believe there, there's still the one over on that building over the back, and I think there's one on the candy shop. I think it was on the candy shop that I saw one. Maybe. Over here? Eh. Oh, maybe... Perhaps that was my... Perhaps that was my imagination. I mean, the tram's not running, so I'm not exactly sure how I would get that. I also do have Blizzard. Blizzard might be able to be used to reach the Shadow Glob way over there. Unity badge. <sighs> okay. I've locked up. Nope. Come on. Darn it. Locked onto it for a second, though. So I can get it. Roxas, come on! Sometimes it's really picky on how fast you move through the air. If I use Blizzard, will that also reach? What?! Okay, that was the last one. Alright. That was my last cast of fire, so that's good that we got it! <laughs> Alright! Oh no, I can't carry the potions. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we just leave them. I actually could have gotten more fire, because I did have a couple of beefers in my inventory. But this makes it easier. I love how we have to go to the portal to RTC, even though we're just going to get ice cream afterwards. Hey, Roxas! <laughs> How's it hanging? What's the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost. Axel? But I thought you were gone! Castle Oblivion! Th the whole team was annihilated! <laughs> Correction! The weaklings were annihilated! Did you just call Lexius a weakling? You had me worried! <laughs> worried? Well, that's a neat trick, considering you haven't got a heart to feel with. But wait here! I'll go buy us some ice cream! And that's what friendship is all about, Charlie Brown. I had my winner stick. I like the popsicles that have riddles on them. They're always hilarious. I gotta check in with the boss, or he's gonna let me have it. You haven't RTC'd yet? Hmm? Nah. 
Well, why come here? <laughs> Guess I needed some time to sort out my feelings. Whatever, mister, I don't have a heart. <laughs> hey, your ice cream's melting. Eat up. Thanks. Quality friendship moments. You know, I started inviting Shion up here while you were gone. You what? This is our fiend! <laughs> Shion? Really? Yeah! I promised her the three of us could have ice cream together. You know, once you got back. Me and her are friends now. <laughs> and that's how Axel became super jealous. We get a level up! And a guard unit! Link to your weapon panel to increase defense. Boo! Who needs defense? Day 72. Change. So... I'm curious. Axel has... So Axel has been basically been AWOL for months. What was he doing? Like, because he was doing... <laughs> like, he was... He was... He was on a mission to basically take out the traitors, and then he just never returned. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Why didn't you report in? Oh, good to see you too. You're welcome. Thanks for the kind words. I'm told Namine has gone missing. <laughs> there one minute, gone the next. I don't know how she got out. You searched every room, I expect. You're kidding, right? <laughs> That's like counting grains of dust in a building full of sneezing people. <laughs> have you seen how you need to na navigate Castle Oblivion? You have to use Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's terrible. <laughs> What about the chamber? Did you find it? Come on, I would have told you that much. I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> you were right. About Marluxia, the traitors, you knew exactly what was up. That's because I played Chain of Memories before this game. <laughs> All I did was find a place to send everyone who was getting in the way. Well, it's nice to know where I stand. Sheesh. Did you come back in one piece or didn't you? Yeah, but I had to use clever manipulation tactics. <laughs> I disposed of Zexion. That wasn't part of the bargain. That's how you wanted it, right? I'll play it your way. For now. What did Zexion do? I mean, he was kind of a jerk, but he didn't deserve to die. Hey, get this! They paired me with you today as a slap on the wrist. Why? Why am I a slap on the wrist? <laughs> well, they just know how much I loathe babysitting. Oh, thanks! Would it kill them to give me a day off? Look at these bags under my eyes. You had two months of free of vacation. Paid vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on, partner. <laughs> right behind you. I love how Axel is like literally twice our height. New entry added to Roxas' diary. Let's get this show on the road. But maybe challenge mode. Shion, search me, man. Probably on a mission, no? Oh yeah, we haven't really seen Shion around recently. Greetings, Koopo. All smiles today, aren't we, Koopo? I bought the Fiend of Iron. Yay. <laughs> Ooh, we can start making these now. Let's see, Ether Boost, Potion Boost, Level 1, Magic... Br Ooh, Magic Bracer. That sounds pretty good. That'll let me cast any magic without taking damage. That actually could be really nice. Alright, level up! I might rather have Combo Boost, though. Let's see, Defense plus 8 versus... Eh, I think I'm going to keep with the Soldier Rain for now. So if we go to challenges, what challenges are open? Collect hearts and finish in record time. Eliminate the watchers in record time. Earn lots of money. Earn lots of heart points. Finish. Why are all... Jump as little as possible to eliminate the guardian. Avoid... Avoid taking damage. Finish in record time. All of these are finished in record time, and I don't like it. How about here? It's collecting the organization emblems in record time. Sure. Let's try this. 
This is a short mission anyways, so. Do 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 finish as fast as possible. Yeah, so those free sigils on the upper right of the screen, that's how well we're doing. So as we take too much time, those will start dropping. We want to get all three. Also, the time you spend RTCing does count against you, so... That's the stupid one I didn't get last time. Doggone it! Ah! Oh. I hope there's a sigil for us to easily grab in here! There is. Oh, wow! We're already down to two sigils? Really? RTC authorized. Dark corridor is open. Watch it go down to one sigil just before we RTC. Wow, that is stingy! We got two sigils. We only got one sigil? What? Did it actually drop the instant that I RTC'd? Oh, that sucks. It's very obnoxious when clicking for those text boxes is enough to make you lose a sigil. I thought it stopped for that! Wow, that sucked! Okay. Oh, wait, no, we can't eliminate the fire points that fill up the mission gauge. Let's try to eliminate the deserters in record time. We actually have block now. But honestly, I think what we're gonna have to do is use a limit break as fast as possible. Oh my gosh! We did it, we did it. Okay, run, 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 run. That was so good. That was really good. We don't even need a limit break. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Free. Still free. Still free. Still free! Excellent. We need one more sigil to get that free slot reset. I'd also like to get the haste as well. Oh, attack as little as possible. Improve your... Oh, we can do this. We're a lot tougher now, so the Dusks should hopefully not just murder us. I mean, we can block now. Actually, we could block before. Oh, enemy level plus eight? I did not see that. That means all the enemies are eight levels tougher than they were before. Or is that just because I'm level 8? So I'm pretty sure if we attack even once, we're going to lose a sigil. Oh, this this is, a, this is easier than it was the first time. Uh-oh. No, I, no, not like this! Yes! Oh, the, 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 fix, the level increases are fixed for each challenge. Okay. We've already seen that scene. I don't know why it shows it to us again. Yes! More challenge sigils. Let's, do the, let's eliminate the deserters in Twilight Town as well. If we get free stars on this, then this is the last mission we'll need to do it on. Okay, the timer does get paused when you uh, are in a cutscene, which is nice. Okay, this is not going nearly as well as the Agrabah one did. No! 
No, he killed me! Oh, we have to withdraw if we die. Oh, that's that's annoying. We at least get to keep our experience, though. We're trying that again. Kicked in the face. Yeah, I was a little clumsy that time. Ironically, if I had haste, these levels would be a little easier to do, because faster means you can beat it faster. Come on, limit break. Carry me to victory. Yes! Okay, 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 okay. That was so good. Oh, is that a free RTC? It is? Oh, yeah! Free more challenge sigils. <laughs> there we go. And we get a potion. All right, we have ten now. Which means we can get a slot releaser and haste. You know what's the most exciting thing about winning? When you win. I love that feeling. I know, we get slot releaser and haste. Ooh, we could get triple cure at 25, and that's way too much. We oh, we only need one mission crown to get a slot releaser, that's great. Maybe I'll do I'll maybe I'll open with mission mode next time. Alright. Well, with new slot releaser, we are definitely equipping haste with that. I like to go fast. I'm sending Axel with you today, as punishment for him, because you're so annoying. <laughs> Shut up! Collect hearts and Agrabah. Team up with Axel, eliminate Heartless and Agrabah, and collect hearts. Be on the lookout for a large armors, dispatch them with fire magic. Okay, oh, we get cures for this. I guess I'll equip extra fire magic. Because if, if memory serves, the armors are guys that you basically need magic in order to take out. I'll keep one triple cast of Blizzard. Just in case that helps as well, but I think fire is where it's at. Off to Agrabah. Ah, man, this place is way too hot. <laughs> what do you say we make this quick? Oh no, is this the mission where we have to tail Pete? Yeah. Ugh. I have met bad memories of Donald not healing me here. Collect hearts and by defeating Heartless. This might actually be the mission where we have to tail Pete, because I remember it being an Agrabah mission with Axel as your partner. Oh no. Oh no. Tailing Pete is like the worst mission in the game. One of one of them. No! Oh, this is gonna suck! Where is it? It's gotta be around here somewheres! Now, who is that? And what's he up to? He wasn't here the last time I came by, that's for sure. Hmm. Pete is not a treat, indeed. Grr, well, I ain't giving up till I find a way in! And once I find that lamp that's stashed down there... <laughs> yeah, all my wishes will come true. He thinks some lamp is gonna grant his wishes. Yeah, strange guy. Change of plans, Roxas. Our new mission is following Lunkhead there. What? But we're out on heart collection. Won't we get in trouble if we just... Looking into any suspicious characters you come across is an important part of the job. But wouldn't you still call it disobeying orders? No, I'd call it flexible thinking. Got it memorized. Plus, we'll still have plenty of time to collect hearts afterwards. No harm, no foul. I guess. Good, then we're agreed. Now the key here is to keep your eyes on him, Roxas. Just make sure he doesn't lay eyes on you. Follow. Oh, no. It's, this is so bad. The stealth in this game is terrible. Pursuing targets. Pursue the target by keeping him inside your blue zone. Careful if he escapes or if you enter his red zone, you'll be caught. 
End result is basically you have to memorize his exact movements and by failing a billion times. Because he can just turn around totally unexpectedly and then you're just screwed. Thankfully, Pete's eyesight is really bad. I think I just accidentally called him P there, but eh, that fits too. He does stink. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to turn left or right, so I might just be screwed. Okay, he's turning left. Yeah, you just... Oh wow, he actually left my blue vision and yet I didn't lose him. That's amazing. I'm happy for that. Maybe I'll do this first try. That would be pretty nice if I did it first try. And then everyone will be like, why did you think following Pete was annoying? Oh, trust me. Pete is just the introduction to the stealth missions of the game, and they all are bad. I also remember trying to sneak past Lumiere in Beast's Castle is also really annoying. Yeah, spoiler alert, it's Beast's Castle is in here. Huh? Ack! Wait, what? I was... I could have swore somebody was watching me. Next, I'll be jumping at my own shadow. Grr, great. Now I gotta go and lose my place. Now I gotta start looking from the beginning. He didn't see me. Was he outside of my vision? Hmm, he's sharper than he looks. Be careful not to let him out of your field of vision, Roxas. And obviously, you'll need to stay out of his. I think he must have been outside of my field of vision. At least it resets in this room. I thought for sure I was overlapped with his. You're gonna turn left? Okay, that's the way he's turning, alright. The fact that he can leave your- you can leave- you can have your field of vision not include him for two seconds. That is nice. I did not know that on my initial playthrough of this, so... That made it very annoying. Yeah, like, if he starts turning like that, you basically have to step outside of... You basically have to make him outside of your field of vision. Okay, this should be it. What's he staring at that wall for, anyway? Roxas, we wouldn't be investigating if we knew all the answers. Bingo! <laughs> I finally found it! Wow, magic! Do 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 Open Sesame's! Remember, keep him un under your thumb, goof! A hidden door in the middle of the city? Why? Where does it lead? I think our friend there is about to show us. Keep tailing him, and try to be subtle about it. But first, treasure chests. Look at that high-resolution Pete on the bottom screen. Okay, that was not as bad as I remember. I remember on my first playthrough I failed at that stupid stealth mission like 20 times. Because I didn't know you were allowed to let him outside of your blue field at all. I thought it was like, oh, he stepped... <laughs> you you st you lost him for a microsecond? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Which makes avoiding his really annoying. Also, I gotta get my treasure. All right, nothing up there. Do 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 do. <laughs> oh yeah, we lost Pete now. Why did he have to take the secret way out of town? Why couldn't he have just gone through the gate? Rah! 
Also, I love how the Cave of Wonders interior completely changes in every single game. Even when the rest of Agrabah is the same, the Cave of Wonders completely changes. Never would have guessed this was here. I'll say this is a nice little bonus. Any treasure behind here? Also, it doesn't feel like I'm running any faster with haste equipped. I think I am, but it doesn't feel like it that much. This cave's bigger than it looks from the outside. Hey, I think we lost him. So what now? Guess we'll have to give up for now. Switch back to heart collection. You don't want to look for him? Nah, I would have liked to know what he was up to, but hey. Just finding out about this cave is enough of a feather in our cap for today. Plus, searching a place this big would be a royal pain. What happens to this being an important part of the job? Like I said, flexible thinking. <laughs> oh, I see. Hey, let's just get this mission over and done with. Defeat Heartless and collect hearts. Yeah, Cave of Wonders is annoying in this. Actually, Cave of Wonders is annoying in every game except two. But it's, like, extra annoying in this game. I'm still waiting for the armors to show up. Nice job, Axel. You killed the Heartless, so we didn't collect hearts. That's not actually how it works. Ooh, free money. Yeah, you can knock stuff in this room around. This is where having a keyblade that can do more than two hit combos would actually probably be useful, but... Ah, well. I would like to push this. There are some deep gashes in the foyer. Yeah, it's like somebody dragged something heavy across it. Oh, I had to examine that before I could hit... That's dumb. And now we have to drag the crate all the way across as well. It's just kind of grindy. Feels like padding in a game that's already fairly padded. Oh well. Yeah, I feel like in all the games Cave of Wonders appears in, like, it's pretty fun in two. In one, it's really annoying, and then in this, it's also really annoying. Pushy but yeah, Agrabah is not fun. Actually, Agrabah is not that fun in, like, really any of the games. It's kind of good in Chain of Memories, and I guess... I mean, the layout in one is fine, I just hate, like, all the bosses. Looking at you, Pot, Centipede, and Tiger Head Cave. I don't know, Neverland can also be annoying with the flying controls. There's an indentation in the middle. Looks like some kind of mechanism. Can we stick our key in it? What could go wrong? 
Roxas, that's like an that's an outlet plug. It'll shock you. Oh no, I'm filled with one high potions already. I'm still waiting to see the armors. They're like, warning Roxas, there will be armors on this level that you need fire magic to destroy. And then I haven't seen any. Then again, we still have a massive amount of the gauge to fill up, so... Oh no, I better use this potion so I can keep this potion. Jumping on the button doesn't actually do anything. No, you've got to slash it with your sword. Oh no, not the arrow spell. Axel, you need a more powerful weapon. There he is. I believe this is the enemy that has, like, 12 bars of HP. Oh, only three. Okay. That was a funny glitch. Yeah, look at how much damage that fire dealt to him. Like, if you don't have fire, you really can't beat him, because you ha can only damage him with physical attacks by hitting him in the head. Just one of the many examples of great enemy design. And actually, I do like I do like how pretty much every enemy in this game has like a magic spell that they're really weak to. I actually think that's really great. I just don't like how if it's an enemy where it's like, oh yeah, you you need you basically need this exact magic spell in order to defeat it. Especially if the mission doesn't tell you like, hey, guess what? There's going to be like super armors on this level that you need like 12 casts of thunder in order to defeat. Which does happen. Nice flip, Axel. Now let's lift his name on high. Whee! Alright. We'll have to use a potion to pick up the iron. That's a good trade. Move it, Axel. We're going through the door. Oh, this room... I remember this room being confusing and sucking. Is there another chest down here? No? That opens up a gate, but I think it's on the other side. Yeah. Geronimo! Oh, that takes us up to the rafters of the first room, though. Okay. Oh, there's a badge up here. Yes, please. No, Axel, I'm trying to... Just attack this guy. He's right in front of you. He's right in front of you. He's right in front of you. Thank you. If this guy hovers over the edge and makes us fall. Actually, wait. We can avoid that by Blizzard. No cutscene? Okay, good. 
I don't want to jump and then for it to be a cutscene time, so you fall and have to go over, over everything again. There we go. Thank goodness we got a new potion to replace our potion that we had to drink in order to get the potion. Off we go, back to RTC. Nah, don't care about you guys. Oh yeah, we also need that badge. Derek, don't you want to attack us, too? Not really. Oh, check it out. We have free, free, free heart points. <laughs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit! Okay, where exactly is the badge so that I can fall on it? Really? Oh, man, you have... Gotta love depth perception! Yep, a challenge mission for the Tail Pete level. Finish in record time! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Where's that badge? Okay. There we go. Ordeal badge. Return to the castle. That takes care of that. Ready to go. Yep. Yum, ice cream. You're more outgoing now, you know that? <laughs> yeah, well, you are too. <laughs> me? You think? <laughs> Guess he must have rubbed off on me. Huh? huh? Who did? <laughs> Let's just say you can thank yourself that we get to sit here again and laugh like idiots over ice cream. Hexel knows who our somebody is. Or I guess... So, Roxas is Sora's nobody. Is is Sora Roxas is somebody, or is that his other? I, I don't know if there's an official terminology for that. I guess Shion's not going to show today. She's intimidated by Axel's super spiky hair. Alright, we get Cure at long last. Honestly, though, I haven't really needed to heal thus far. Day 73, The Promise. Oh, yeah. Zaldin exists. Where is she? <laughs> hey, Roxas. Axel, you seen number 14? Oh yeah, when you said that uh, you wanted to hang out with her now, in addition to me, I got jealous and killed her. I mean, what? <laughs> Shion? Hmm. Now that you mention it, no. It's been days now. Ten days, at least. Wish I could help, but I took off her CO as soon as uh, Shion joined up. That's a lot I missed. Cure isn't so good. Basically, Renewable Potions Cura, though. Wait, what? Um, I thought that Cure was... Well, hang on, I'll get more into that when the cutscene's over. I feel bad. I promised we'd all get together for some ice cream. The two of you are friends, right? Tell you what, I'll pa pick Syx's brain and see what I can find out. Thanks, Axel. I know he's kind of a crab apple, but... <laughs> okay, yeah, so... In this game, you can the different like versions of Magic of Fire, Fire and Firaga are actually genuinely different. Cure, Kira and Kiraga are kind of different. I remember Cure being the only good one, and Kira and especially Kiraga just being like, this is literally just worse than Cure. Where it's like Cure immediately refills your HP, Kira slowly refills your HP, and then Kiraga slowly refills your HP only if you're standing in a specific portal. It 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 gets worse every single time. That was my understanding. Oh boy, we can buy the lift gear. And... Pff, HP plus 20. Let's get Ether Boost with the Magic Rain. Oh, 
I'll ask him about Shion. Go take care of your mission. I didn't return until late yesterday night. It has been tough with so few of us. Yeah, I know. Poker Club is getting out of hand. Do you have any blazing shards, Roxas? Give one to me. You could ask nicer. <laughs> Hand over blazing shards? Sure, I have plenty. Take this in exchange. We get a frost shard. Kira is regen, but each tick is very strong if you have it in level panels. Kira level 5 is excellent. Maybe? Maybe I need to try it again for this playthrough. I remember literally just looking at it and being like, why would I ever use Cure when I could just... Why would I ever use Cura when I can just use Cure to immediately refill my HP instead of having to wait over time? But maybe... Maybe it could be like the Oogie Boogie card from Chain of Memories where you can focus on getting your health refilled while still focusing on combat. That could actually be useful. Kiraga is area of effect cure, so it's only useful in multiplayer. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess with Kiraga, you would make a portal that, like, anybody could step into. All right, that's fair. I'm still going to equip Kiraga. All right. Oh, we get magic level two. Ah, it's a 4x4 four four grid, though, so I don't think that's going to work out particularly. Actually, no. No, we it can. Oh, wait, no, it can't, because that's jutting out over there. Rats. Oh, uh, well. Hmm. All right, we'll have to... We'll do that. Oh, wait. I really need to save more often than I have been. Normally you don't save while you're recording a Let's Play, but a live stream is different. <laughs> I think I think we have time for one more mission. I'm having you visit a new world for your mission today. Oh wait, if it's exploring, it maybe... No, we, we'll do it. Eliminate the sergeant. Oh boy, it's Beast's Castle! A sergeant has surfaced in this new world. Find it and eliminate it at once. We f oh, yes, we get a backpack for clearing it. <laughs> we get the Organization 13 Theme School backpack. Yes. Oh, I, I've been waiting for that. Beast's Castle. This is a great world in Kingdom Hearts 2. It's pretty fun in this, but I remember that there is a boss fight in this world that is brutally difficult. Great music, too. This is the castle. What was that roar? It came from inside. Maybe it's the Heartless I'm after? Nope, it's just Beast! I guess I'll find out. Time to head in and take a look. I love how they're sending me to the New World without, like, any being like, examine the New World. It's just like, no, kill the Heartless here. If Beast sees me, I'm in big trouble. He hates trespassers. Oh yeah, the bully dogs! Or, I'm sorry, not the bully dog, the bad dogs. Bad dog, you get beaten up. Oh boy, a block level! Or a block link. And bad dogs have a lot of HP. I forgot about that. I forgot about a lot of the enemies in this game. 358 over 2 days has a bunch of Heartless that do not show up in any other Kingdom Hearts game. No! Don't possess me! Oh man, bad dogs are easy though. <laughs> they have a lot of HP, but they don't have any bulk to back them up. Here, Beast, I noticed your gargoyles were out of place, so I'm helping you out with that. Oh, thank you! 
It won't budge. It must be locked from the inside. Yeah, Beast isn't all that happy to have people visit. Why did it lock onto the farthest away enemy? <laughs> Your dog won't eat his food because he wants the cat food. That's great. I mean, to be fair, I don't blame him because the people who make pet food are put way more effort into making the cat food tasty than the dog food tasty because cats are have much higher standards. What the? Oh. It looks like this guy spawned inside the gargoyle statue. Ooh, the triple kill. Beast is like, no! How could people find the secret entrance in here? Wait, that's the Bowser voice. How could people find the secret entrance in here when the gargoyles were guarding the door? Secret entrance. Yeah, we're exploring new areas than we did in Kingdom Hearts 2. Track down the sergeant. Is he like a soldier, but better? Probably. Nice stained glass window, man. Beast put a lot of effort into designing this secret passageway. Even though I'm sure it was here alone before he became the prince. Oh boy. Triple prizes! You know what? I forgot how fun this game is. I remember... This is still, I'd say, my least favorite of the Kingdom Hearts games, but this is still very fun. Why, yes, I do like Chain of Memories more. <laughs> it's not even close. Aw, yeah, we fall down with style into the main room. And we're locked out of doing anything. It's awfully quiet. Is nobody home? There's my target! Alright, Sergeant. Oh, that's right, I forgot to set Cure to a shortcut. Wow. Yeah, magic just slaughters things. So does equipping the right Keyblade. Oh, wait, no, don't give me that badge! Mission accomplished. Time to RTC. This better not auto-RTC me. Huh? What was that? Another Heartless? Or something besides the Heartless? Hmm. Well, Syx's orders were to RTC as soon as the mission was done. Don't RTC now. I better call it a day. It'll get even better when you get those level up. But yeah. <laughs> oh, thank goodness I can get the Unity Badge. That way we can do it together. Friends near and far away. Friends, friends in every way. The difference between level 1 and level 5 magic is notable. Oh, yeah. Looks like this is the only way out. I'll just unbar the door. Beast will not be happy about that. Almost as unhappy as he gets when people steal his almonds. Or his walnuts. Oh, man. Bell's Magical World. What, what a movie that is. I, li I like to imagine that Roxas actually heard that in-game, and he's just like, Okay, time to RTC. <laughs> Ice cream at sunset. It's almost like this is a reoccurring thing in the game. Where's Axel?
I hope she owns okay. It's like Sykes is like, Roxas, I will be joining you for ice cream today. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> All right, we got rid of Mr. Sergeant. And we get a backpack, thank goodness. Block level. Blinks to a block panel and raises its level. What What does that actually functionally do? Like, what does it mean to raise a block by a level? Like, what, what actual difference in your blocking capability does that provide? Because I know there are other block links that'll be like, oh, you when you block an enemy, you can potentially freeze them. Which I'm like, that just sounds way better than giving it a level up. <laughs> you don't know either. Okay. I'm, I wonder if it, it literally, it doesn't do anything. They just tell you it does. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Sorry. I was up late. Couldn't sleep. I asked Saix about Shion. And? Your friend was sent out on a mission, but never RTC'd. But why not? Shouldn't the mission be done by now? I don't know, but we'll find out what happens soon enough. Why is that? <laughs> you and me get to go track Shion down. That's our mission today. You mean it? No, I made it all up. Go back to bed. Yes, I mean it. Hurry up and get ready, will ya? <sighs> Expanding your backpack. Install a backpack panel into your slots and you will be able to pick up more items during missions. This also means you can carry more stuff home. Yay, no more having to... Well, we probably still will have to chug our potions as we get them, but probably less frequently than we did before. Alright, time to read Roxas' private diary, and then we get in the stream. Roxas' diary... Why did... Okay, why are there empty notes here for day 27 and 28? Did I miss those or something? Ice cream alone. I sit up on the clock tower, but no one comes. Not Axel, not even Shion. That weird lump in my throat won't go away. Something else is bothering me. This is gonna sound crazy. Good thing this is a private diary. Nobody's reading it. But these pictures keep flashing through my head. Not all the time, just sometimes. Ever since I collapsed... Axel's back. After work, Axel turned up just like that, out of nowhere. I didn't know what to say. I thought we'd lost him for good. We went up to the clock tower and talked for a while. I told him about Shion. The choked-up sensation has gone away. Me and Axel went to Agrabah. He seems different now that he's back from Castle Oblivion. Ice cream was just the two of us today. I wonder when me and Axel and Shion will all get to have ice cream together. After my, I finished my mission, I wanted all three of us to have ice cream, but I couldn't find Shion. It's been at least ten days since I've last seen her. Axel said he'd ask Saix what was going on. Speaking of Axel, I didn't see him at the clock tower today. Alright. Well, wow, we got through a ton of missions today. That was great. We got a lot done. That's going to do it for this stream, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be continuing Yoshi's Island on Saturday at 1 p.m., and then we'll continue Kingdom Hearts uh, on Monday. Until then, I guess I'll wish you guys a good night, good rest of your week, and I hope you have just a fantastic time all around. Have a great day, and God bless.